Let me give you a couple of other examples of what, what people have done in their work environment just to change things. I don't know if you read this or not, but a, about a year ago, there was a, a children's hospital in Tampa, Florida that hired a window washing company that came and the window washers were dressed as superheroes. So these, these guys, like normally if you were at this hospital and they came to wash the windows, you'd see the, the men in the maintenance suits, you know, the, the dark blue or the dark gray. But this time, you know, there was this wonderful picture of this little girl in a hospital bed and she had tubes coming out all over. And you look through the window and Spider-Man was washing her window. So Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, all these superheroes, they dressed as superheroes. And I thought, what a great gift to those children. What a blessing to those children to be able to look out the window and not see just something routine, but instead see a superhero. Then I started thinking, but what about those, those window washers? Can you imagine if that was your job? You know, it's a pretty mundane job. It's pretty not too exciting. It does, probably doesn't pay really well. It's, it's dangerous sometimes. And yet one day, one of those guys goes home, and his wife says to him, how was work today? And he goes, today, I was Batman. <laughs> I mean, how great would that be? It changes the work experience for that person in addition to affecting who are basically their customers. You think about that. How do, you, how do you change the way you do things so that it affects both you and the people you serve? It's an amazing concept to think about. It's just changing the normal routine. I was in Germany a couple of years ago and um, went into one of the restrooms in between sessions at this conference. And I went up to the urinal and there was a fly on the back wall of the urinal. So I flushed the urinal a couple of times, but the fly didn't go down. And I was stepped back and I thought, well, that's kind of odd. And I looked over and there was a fly in the next urinal. They were in all of them. And I'll tell you in a minute what that was, because I went out and asked one of my German colleagues, I said, like, what the deal with the fly in the urinal? And I'll tell you what that was. But first before I do that, how many of you have children? Let me see by show of hands, how many have children? How many of you that have children have boys? Keep them up if you've got boys. When you were teaching your boys to be potty trained, what did you throw in the toilet? Cheerios. Cheerios is the answer of choice across the country. Sometimes Fruit Loops, never Cocoa Puffs, I'm just saying. <laughs> Why do we throw Cheerios in the toilet? Because we know that if you put Cheerios in the toilets, the little boys are more likely to be potty trained quicker because they love targets, right? Turns out that love never goes away. <laughs> A huge research project in the Netherlands found if you put targets in the urinals of the men's rooms, and this is the sad part, the bathrooms are 60 to 80% cleaner. <laughs> And all the women are shaking their head. They get it. They understand what I'm talking about. And see, this is dynamic to me because this is exactly do it well, make it fun. They're accomplishing something significant by making the process work, by making it more fun.